Roma to Jimen, you're watching on Will TV's Chill Out. Yamaha artist Nise Merino celebrated his 10th year with the brand. Nise was signed under Yamaha on the 23rd of May 2013. On Will TV spoke to him to know more about his journey with Yamaha and his experiences as a Yamaha artist and ambassador. But before we get to that, we have a short message for Nise from his well wishes. Hi, my name is Rehan Siddiqui, business head Yamaha Music India. It has been a really pleasure to be associated with Nise for the past 10 years. An extremely talented performer, he is on a mission to support all round development of music community through much needed mentorship and guidance. He has significantly contributed to promote creative value and culture that Yamaha believes in. We thank him for his vision commitment and support to strengthen the music not only in India but globally as well. We say from all of us at Tafma and the entire music and arts fraternity of Nagaland, we congratulate you on your 10th year anniversary with Yamaha. You have always been an inspiration to all of us and we pray that God continue to use you and bless you and give you many bigger platforms in life and continue to make us and Nagaland I need say congratulations on your 10 years of your association with Yamaha. I am really, really proud to be your first piano teacher. I wish you the best in life and in your journey of music. Keep escalating. Play all the scales, not only one octave, but till the end. Example from middle C, wait, hold on. And so on. But do not go back, okay? You have, you have to escalate. And perhaps a middle C was the first note that I taught you. I remember I have fond memories of teaching you decades back. You were such a little, around about five years old, very uh, reticent little boy. You hardly talk, but the only sound I hear from you is your pretty sound, your, your little, little fingers played on the piano. And your Every note that you hit was perfectly perfecto. Perfect, yes. Enjoy your every moment of your musical journey and wherever you are planted, you share music. That's what I want to tell you. Oh, sorry. Hi, sir. Uh we're so so proud of you and happy anniversary you know like you know it's a big faith you know uh, you are one of the artists from Nagal who is there and you're an inspiration we always look up to you and I'm so proud that I learned uh, music under you and I am where I am today because of you and thank you so much for everything and uh, we wish you the best and this is you know nothing you still have a long way to go so all the best and see you soon Congratulations on your 10th anniversary with Yamaha India. We're all just so proud of you. You're one person who deserves all the success in the world. And my good wishes are always with you. God bless you. Hi Nisei, this is Abdon. Um, I wanted to congratulate you on completing 10 years as a Yamaha artist. Um, you've been a very good friend, but you've also been a big source of inspiration to me and so many other artists out there. So thank you for that. I wish you health and happiness and 10 more years of being awesome. As mentioned, right now we are here with the man himself, Nisei Meruno. So thank you so much, Nisei, for agreeing to speak to us and congratulations on your 10th anniversary with Yamaha. Thank you so much, Atu, and thank you Hornbill TV for having me. I think it's been a year since we last spoke like this. We had an interview. So after 
Since then, how, you know, what's been going on in your life so far? I'm somebody who always likes to stay driven, driven with not just musical activities, but it could be fashion, it could be fitness, it could be just chilling with friends. So I'm somebody who always wants to look at the brighter side of life. So I think I'm a happier person than I was maybe a year back. And now coming back to uh, why we're here today, Yamaha, uh, for our viewers, I mean, you are the ambassador of uh, Yamaha, right? I mean, an artist. So now, could you please explain to our viewers what is it all about also since, I mean, a lot of the people wouldn't understand or wouldn't know about it. So could you please explain yes. to us? I mean, first of all, I'm like definitely elated to be celebrating 10 years with Yamaha. At the same time, also like overwhelmed with emotions and feeling nostalgic also, remembering the first day how it all began and where I am, all because of God's grace and favor. To be a Yamaha artist, it's like a dream for many of us, like especially for me who started off music, taking piano lessons when music was just a hobby. It was never even in my wildest dream that one day, you know, that I would be embraced and uh, be be tagged or labeled as a Yamaha artist. I think this is definitely a, a huge privilege and honor for any artists who are under the umbrella of a Yamaha. And our job is actually, it's not just about promoting the company or promoting or uh, the musical instruments that Yamaha uh, produces, but it's about sharing uh, good music and also being able to share the gift of music with people around. I think that's the, that's the biggest goal that Yamaha has uh, and expects from each of their artists. If I'm not mistaken, you were signed on May 23rd, am I right? Yes. So I would want to know on that day, 10 years ago, uh, what was the feeling like, you know, to know that, okay, you are being signed or how did they approach you? Could, uh, could you please take us? Sure, I would because I vividly remember everything about it. And if I can take a little uh, back, uh, so I was asked to go to Guwahati to inaugurate the Yamaha showroom. So I was there and then the MD of Yamaha was also there and we were both at that function to inaugurate the Yamaha showroom and I did a, uh, a performance and we seemed to have connected quite well and he asked me like if I can meet him you know after the program and I did and interestingly around that time I was supposed to sign a contract with another company <laughs> but uh, somehow I was also like very uh, excited that Yamaha being Yamaha reputed company well-known company I was thinking maybe this is it you know because it just came out of nowhere so I just felt like maybe this is the Lord's doing and then after a few weeks he invited me to Delhi. I was in Delhi in the in his office room and talking about, you know, becoming a brand ambassador for Yamaha. And I remember signing that contract paper and yeah, that's how it all began. Could you tell us more about uh, as an ambassador, uh, what do you actually do for the brand? I mean, you know, Kali music and Hoya, like music, of course, performance, can hobo, all these uh, concerts and stuff like that. But we are also given a lot of assignments, assignments like video hanbanai, video clips, you know, where we are addressing uh, music students or teachers or maybe even dealers also. And my job is also sometimes to review new pianos, make videos, or also launch new pianos. So. I have to travel to different cities and go to different Yamaha showrooms to sort of just be there, launch a new piano, talk about the new features, you know. So it, I think my job that way is not just uh, confined to the stage and the, uh, the concert, but I'm also glad that I can be like a spokesperson for the company and it makes my job much more interesting. Uh, how many ambassadors are there in India? There should be about, I think, 15 to 20 not too many and in uh, yeah again uh, it's quite um, I mean it makes me uh, very joyful to know that I'm actually the uh, the first Indian to be signed by Yamaha to endorse the Yamaha digital pianos and acoustic piano so that I feel is quite an achievement not just for me but for our land our people you know so I sometimes feel I'm just that walking billboard 
of uh, for our state and it's not just about my selfish gain or glory you know but i share this with everybody here so is there any time period that you would be the ambassador for this uh, year yes. this much is there most definitely so every con uh, contract is for a year but somehow just imagine like 10 years every year i've just been renewing even during the lockdown you know because of yamaha i should say i survived because everything came to a halt right no shows no workshops nothing was going on but yamaha around that time they were giving me a lot of assignments i also feel just to keep us going you know to keep us motivated and to let us know that they care and of course even financially most of us we're not earning anything especially artists were also really uh, affected but Yamaha would make us do these video clips short video clips about stay stay home stay safe you know and they would uh, give you something in return so that was so encouraging and that was when I came to realize like this company is really out there they go all out to make sure their artists are well taken care of now that uh, when you see when when it comes to Nagaland we see a lot of musicians also now uh, be your the thing uh, field piano uh, kids upcoming you know musicians do you think they also have the potential like According to you, do they also have the potential to be like you, like a Yamaha artist or an ambassador. Do you think potential? For sure, for sure. If you look at talent-wise, definitely. Yamaha looks at... Uh some aspects like popularity if i'm already a yamaha uh, product user my talent you know and maybe my per, uh, my personality and stuff like that so all these things has to be like checked and you know approved by them before you become a yamaha artist otherwise if you just talk about talent there are so many but like i said it's not just popularity also but how well do you resonate with people with your audience and maybe how well versed are you with your instrument you know or if I, if I'm just with Yamaha for the sake of getting that tag as Yamaha artist or do I really you know vouch and believe in their product that is also very important and for me I've always uh, loved Yamaha products that that's the reason when I was about to sign a contract with the other company, I was excited because I would be endorsing an international company, but it didn't feel right. And I believe that is when that perfect timing of God, you know, came and Yamaha came into my life. So I would want to see, you know, some people from our state also, you know, becoming part of Yamaha. And I mean, I, I don't know, it's also amusing and I don't know, quite, uh, I don't know, let's say shocking that over the past 10 years, I haven't seen anyone, you know, being embraced as a Yamaha artist. I don't know why, maybe something is wrong somewhere. I mean, talent wise, popularity wise, everything is there. But I feel we also need to work on other aspects in our life, personality, you know, could be how you deal with people and stuff like that. 10 years now, so how has your journey been so far? Could you please uh, tell us more about that as well? Uh, yes, I think everything has become simpler and there's more clarity in my life. At initially, you know, going back to 2013, May 23rd, it was excitement, it was full of like, full on fire, wanted to do so many things. Even my songwriting, compositions were very complicated. But along the line, I've started to appreciate imperfection. And I've started to also really uh, understand the value of simplicity. So now if you ask me, like I think I have become a much simpler person when it comes to my music. And even in my life, I don't let all these uh, unnecessary things you know bother me so i feel that music has really changed me and one has to keep evolving if i i'm the same person as i was even a year back that means i am just sort of existing not even living a life so i think things change people change and i i would want to believe i've changed for the better so being a yamaha artist would you say that uh, it has brought any uh, changes in your musical career as well and if yes how yes because Yamaha being Yamaha, you know, when 
wherever I go and I say, like, I'm a Yamaha artist, Nisa Miranda, they were like, wow, you know? And of course, the expectations are so high because you represent such a huge uh, company. But at the same time, I think at the end of the day, you just stay true to yourself. What can I do, you know? As a person, first of all, be true to yourself, then the musician uh, persona follows. So I would say that Yamaha has definitely uh, given me a lot of highlight when it comes to maybe uh, getting good shows, you know, the kind of maybe treatment that I get from people. And treatment, I don't mean that I expect only VIP treatment. Treatment as in like for people to be open to the kind of music that I want to uh, deliver, I want to present. Because if not, then maybe sometimes um, some of my maybe uh, songs or the pieces that I play from my repertoire may not be well received but because i have that you know uh, sort of mileage people are like oh wow this is what yamaha artist has to offer you know so i think that is where i'm able to really exercise my creativity and explore different genres of music also i am no longer the typical very hardened you know uh Western classical musician anymore. Yeah, I'm proud of my roots, but I am very open to explore. So now the big question, also for the question here, and also for the uh, viewers to know or people who are interested in music to know, how can one become a Yamaha artist? First of all, I think just to be an artist, you know, one would have to be really. Uh, honest with who they are as a human being first of all because you carry a beautiful heart then your art will come out naturally here i think a lot of people are uh, trying to be relevant but i always say i'd rather be relatable than to be relevant relatable is like you can sing a hymn from the the 17th or 18th century but people will still be able to resonate with what you're trying to 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 tell them through that music but uh staying true to who you are as a human being first and even if it's a genre you ask yourself is this really what i want to do or am i doing this because all the young songwriters are into, into that kind of music talking about the nagaland present nagaland music scenario everybody that i uh, that are sort of like coming up i mean they are good for sure but I would want them to also drift away from that lazy singing kind of, you know, just strumming a guitar or ukulele and then just doing some lazy singing. I think we can do away with that for now. There are so many things out there which are great and people should, in a way, you know, get into those stuff, indulge themselves more into those uh, kind of music as well. Thank you. I think that's all we'll have for today, but before that, do you have any messages, uh, message for our viewers? Do you have any message as such? Yes, yeah, so in cl conclusion, I would just want to say, you know, that my journey has been so unpredictable. I mean, from my point of view, but when it comes to uh, to God, He knows everything. Like, for we also know very well that it, in Jeremiah 20, 29, 11, it says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. I remember in 2010 when I was coming back home uh, after 11 years on that flight I remember okay now Nisei you're going back home you are just going to become a music teacher that's it but interestingly God has brought me all the way back to my hometown where my roots are planted you know where my uh, where my culture my identity lies and this is where he open the treasure box for me. So it is not about, about always seeking greener pastures or looking at bigger cities for your dreams to be fulfilled. You can be anywhere as long as God's favor and grace is upon you. You can just shine from wherever you are. So I want to encourage each one of you that just um, bloom where you are planted and not to sort of compare yourself or feel small compare yourself with people who live in big cities or feel smaller because you live in a small state like nagaland that is definitely not the case for me and i want to encourage you all just to be able to nurture and carry a beautiful heart first of all and the rest will follow god bless and thank you once again, Atu. Thank you so much for agreeing to speak to us. And also, once again, congratulations on your 10th year. And we are hopeful and we know that we will, you will keep inspiring our youngsters as you have always been. Thank you so much, Nisif, once again. Thank you.